Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see about rules performance visualization and reference data collections. Rules, sometimes called as correlation rules, are applied to events, flows, or offenses to search for or detect any anomalies. If all the conditions of the tests are met, the rules generate a response. So the custom rule Test the events, flows, and offenses to detect any unusual activity in your network. You can create new rules using the AND and OR combinations of existing rules test. Custom rule engine plays an important role in the pipeline performance of overall QData system. Hence, it is very important to understand if our rule, which we have newly created, is efficient enough and is not the cause of any performance degradations seen in our QRadar pipeline. Now, to detect this, QRadar has a very nice visual tool where we can see the performance of the rules that we have created. To see those visualizations, we need to enable the performance rules visualization. For that, navigate to the QRadar UI. Navigate to the admin page here in system settings, click on advanced settings, custom rules. Here, if you see the enable performance analysis, you have to set it to true so that we get a visual performance analysis. The next parameter, which is reset metrics on rule change, we have set it to true so that whenever there is a slight change in any of the rule, the performance is recalibrated. A slight change can cause degradations or cause your rules to become expensive. And that's why it's a good choice to set this value to true. Next two values, performance analysis upper limit and lower limit is a count of EPS or the th throughput that the rule processes per second. So. I'll be talking about these two values when we will see the actual rule performance values. Just be informed that there's an option to set the upper limit and the lower limit in our custom rule settings. Once the settings are done, click on save. Next, once we have the rule performance enabled, go to the rules section. A new column is actually introduced in our rules page. If you see, there is a column called as performance which has been enabled and the green color or a visual experience is available for analysts to determine if the rule is performing good or it needs fine tuning or it is expensive. We can sort the rules by the performance by clicking on the performance column. So clicking on any rule will give us the performance analysis over to the right corner over here. So if you see a performance analysis was performed on this rule 12 seconds ago and its lowest capacity is something somewhere around 44,58,901 even per second. So why this color is green or how does curator determines whether a rule is performing good or bad is based on the settings that we saw on the admin page. Remember there was an upper limit and a lower limit set. So whenever a rule has a throughput above the upper limit, that means uh, when we had set the upper limit to 50,000 and my rule is capable of giving a throughput or parsing 50,000 plus EPS per seconds, that time that rule is performing very good. It is efficient and hence the color code is green. Here it is somewhere around 44 lakhs, which is high above the value. And hence it is colored as green. So let us now see if there are any rules in our system which are quite expensive or which may need modifications. So those rules will be indicated in orange color, wherein two orange bars will be shown, which means that there will be some tuning needed to those rules. Yes, we have such rules where some tunings are needed. Orange color indicates it. And then we have something which is in red color that definitely means that the rule is underperforming and it needs to be tuned. The EPS or the FPS throughput for this rule is below the lower limit. 
our upper limit was somewhere around 50,000 and lower limit was somewhere around uh, 20,000. And if my rule is not capable of parsing or giving a throughput of around 20,000 EPS, that means it is underperforming. It needs some changes. It needs some tuning. So open the rule and tune that set of test cases so that it can be more efficient and doesn't cause any pipeline degradations. So as I said earlier, two orange bars, that means the uh, rule might need some tuning and this red color. Now, if you see, let us see that uh, it is showing us red color. So what exactly is the test conditions over here? And the test condition is and when the event payload contains TCP. So as we know, event payload contains itself is a costly test case. And then there are no lock sources which limits this search. So this rule is executing the search on all the events that are coming into our system. And it is taking or it is below the 2 lakh limits of our lower limit. So our lower limit was set to around 2 lakhs. And the average EPS for our capacity throughput for this rule is just 1 lakh 8,000 something. So it is not even passing 2 lakhs or the lowest uh, EPS value that we have set to and hence it is colored as red. So any changes we make in the test conditions, it will help us to recalibrate or again check the performance of the rule because of the second setting that we had done on the admin page wherein we had set the reset metrics on rule change to true. So this is an efficient tool for any analyst to check whether the rules that we have newly created are performing well are not the cause of performance degradations in our environment.